Hi guys, if you're struggling with Wi-Fi reach or Wi-Fi speed or even both of them, then I have some good news. I have maybe a very good solution for you and that's the other love point-to-point Wi-Fi wireless bridge. And of course we get two of these devices because one is working as a sender and one is working as a receiver. But instead of having maximum wireless range of maybe 10, 20 or 30 yards with a normal standard Wi-Fi, here we are talking about 3 kilometers or 1.9 miles if you have some direct visibility of course when you don't have direct visibility then of course it's also less but still much more than normal wi-fi connection and in a perfect situation we can get up to 900 megabits with 5g but we also have support for 2.4g and we get the whole thing as a full set so we get one transmitter one receiver and for each of them we get the power supply and we get also this really solid outside mounting arm even with some installation material so you really don't have to be worried about anything and so i'm going to show you what you get and then how to set it up and then test it for you and so here you have the box so let's open see what we get get two packages and in the one package we have this installation material and so we get two of these very strong awesome quality mounting arms they fit perfectly for pole mount so basically you have pole and then you mount it here and secure it with these two items or you can use them also for wall mount here's some specs packaging list and some ideas how to mount this and here of course the two main devices we can see also the specs, they get power over Ethernet or IP65, waterproof for outside, supporting all regions and provide fast networking. We get even a full instructions manual and we get also two Ethernet patch cable, CAT6E, that's full support for one megabit of course, then two additional hoops and nicely protected the main devices can see really nice for outdoor water protected and then two times the power supply of course one for each device on the side we have a signal detector that's an awesome thing to so get an idea how good the connection is and then of course we need to access the ports so we push down this flap and then remove the cover so we have access now to both of the ethernet ports on the left side we have a 100 megabit port, on the right side we have the 1 gigabit port, here we have different channel and the button which works as a reset button if you push for 10 seconds or longer or you can also push short to adjust the channel and then we have to decide if we want to use it as a sender which is the A position on the left side or receiver which is the B position on the right side. Of course we have to do this on both of these devices. And so you can see they are pre-configured, so the device on the left side is pre-configured as sender and the device on the right side is pre-configured as a receiver, but you can also change that. And so let's see how we do the connections. What we need on each side is one of these devices, the power supply and then two Ethernet cable. Make sure that they are fast enough. For shorter distance we can use cat 5e like these ones to get one gigabit for longer distance at least cat 6 is recommended in the packaging we get even two times cat 6e and so i'm going to install this device here close to the internet service provider router then of course it's important to use the right port here from the power supply. We have always a LAN side and we have a PoE side. The PoE side has always to be connected to the Adalov point-to-point -point bridge. And of course we want to use the faster outlet, that's the 1 gigabit here. Of course this has to be plugged in to have power. And the LAN side has to be connected to an Ethernet port of the router. And on the receiver side we have a very similar configuration. Again, receiver, that's B position. The PoE connection goes also into the other low point-to-point bridge. Also here I'm selecting the faster port. But here on the receiver side, the LAN port, we are connecting to the computer. But of course we could also use a router on the receiver side. 
that's also a good possibility. So instead of going from here into a computer directly, we can use a router in between so we can provide the internet signal which we received and to multiple computers or we can even distribute it by Wi-Fi then from there for one center. We can have also multiple receivers, I think up to eight in total. And so I have connected this computer to the normal Wi-Fi router to see the speed here as a comparison. It has nothing to do with the point-to-point -point bridge. So let's go and see. Of course, I have to blur this a little bit because of the IP address. And so you can see the results. We have a download of 130 megabits and an upload of 116 megabits, which is not bad, but definitely not perfect. And so I'm turning off Wi-Fi here in the computer. You can see Wi-Fi is turned off. So when we go to speed test, it doesn't show any connection at all. And now let's establish this connection with the point-to-point -point bridge. We plug it in and the other cable we plug in into the computer. And so let's see if we see some connection here. Of course, needs a little bit of time. What's really important here is that we see the exact same channel number as in the sender. If we see a different number, we have to change it here or with the sender here with short pushing, but we are on a four. The sender is also on a four. If you think you have some interference, you can also change on both of the sides to a different channel. In the meantime, after about one minute, we see the full strength confirmation. And so let's go back to the computer where we didn't have any internet access anymore. So I'm refreshing this page here. Let's see what's going to happen if we get some internet connection. Yeah, we definitely have some connection. Let's test the speed now. Of course, it's far from being perfect here in this situation because I have two thick walls in between of the sender and the receiver. The best thing is if you have direct visible contact, but you can already see quite a difference. Even some here behind the walls, there's quite some improvement regarding the speed. So now we have a download of 205 megabits and an upload of 246 megabits. And again, this is what we had before, 130 to 116, and now we have 205 and 246. And that's inside where it's definitely not perfect for such a device, but we still have some improvement. But of course, if you can place this outside and you have visible contact between the sender and the receiver devices, then you can get up to 900 megabits for 5G. But you can still see here, even inside, we have some improvement. So this could be also a way to improve the speed. And we do not only have more speed, we have also lower latency, lower ping. So ping went down from 15 to 13 and latency from 171 and 102 to 59 and 67. So everything fully improved. And what I like here is how easy this was to set up. Absolutely no technical knowledge needed. Of course, you can also do much more with this point-to-point -point bridge. You can log in here into the browser. There you can log in into the menu which is provided by this device. We get all the information which is needed for that here in the instructions manual. So you have then full access to a lot of additional items, much more menus, much more things you can configure if you like. But as you can see, it works already perfect in the standard configuration. Absolutely great job, I would say. So for me, definitely a great thing. I've tested already an older device, very similar device, but this thing here is nicely upgraded, especially with this awesome information, super easy to use, perfectly pre-configured. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.